Hello, I'm Mayor Erin Mendenhall of Salt Lake City, and today I'm exploring this question that so many of us are looking at the holiday season and the fact that the state of Utah, like other states across this nation, is deep into the third wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. With me today is Reverend France Davis. Reverend Davis, thank you so much for taking a minute to talk with us. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Will you tell us a little bit about how your family is planning to celebrate this holiday season differently, maybe, and more safely for COVID? Well, for this uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas, uh, we're planning to stay at home uh, and leave the uh, family members at their respective homes. We'll go by and uh, wave at or speak to the grandchildren, but for the most part, uh, we'll all stay at our respective homes. Uh, we'll prepare our own foods and uh, eat our own meals and then perhaps spend a little time with uh, FaceTime and uh, be able to communicate and interact one with the other. I really appreciate that. And it's been interesting how technology has been so available not enough to enough people, but to so many people and been able to knit our families a little closer through this time of crisis with the pandemic. It's been a really great blessing. Well, uh, we have been preparing for uh, the use of technology for many years. And uh, now all of a sudden it's no longer preparation time, but it's put it into use. So we put Zoom into use, we put FaceTime, uh, other kinds of social media, uh, we start to use those uh, more and they mean a lot more to us. Uh, and they're used for good now as opposed to in many cases before uh, people use them for anything that they chose. Well, Reverend Davis, you have an incredible way of helping people and myself included uh, to see a good way through a hard time and give us hope so I wonder if we could wrap up asking you to um, give a little comfort to the people who might be listening. Well, a word of comfort that I would offer to everybody is to remember that uh, God is God and that each of us have value and worth. And if we acknowledge that, then we can also celebrate what we have that's different about us at the same time, uh, celebrate what we have in common. Well, Reverend, I wish you and your family a very safe and happy and healthy holiday season. I am so grateful to know you, and I'm grateful that you're a part of our community in Salt Lake City. Thank you. Have a good Thanksgiving and a good Christmas. And for anybody out there who's listening and wondering about what your holiday plans may need to be uh, reimagined into, we would love to refer you to cdc.gov where the CDC has great recommendations on different ways to go about the holiday safely and make sure that you and your loved ones can celebrate this holiday unencumbered by illness. Take care and be well. We will get through this and we will be stronger together.